Hello, I'm Lord Jimsical, and you're watching You Have Issues, a programme all about comics. So, my UK viewers, how was your bank holiday? All good, I hope. Have a bit of family time, some fun, did you? Do you want to know what I did? Of course you do. Why else would you be watching this show? Well, I went to see Suicide Squad over the bank holiday weekend. And here's my review. It was enjoyable, but not without its flaws. In summary, it was a big mess of Will Smith jokes intercut with action, the first two thirds of the movie felt like a music video, and they just stole the final act from the first Ghostbusters movie and just put it in here. I thought it was quite refreshing seeing Will Smith as part of an ensemble cast, until I realised that he clearly negotiated for the most screen time compared with the rest of the squad. Classic Will. The other performances were alright, nothing special really. Well, except Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn, I think she did a great job. Though I think we can all agree that we're going to see this same bloody outfit at every single f***ing convention from now on. Well, some of the other performances are worth mentioning. Amanda Waller was spot on. She was calm, calculating and ruthless, just like she is in the comics. I think Viola Davis did a superb job here. I'm looking forward to see more of this character in this universe. I wasn't at all fussed with the performances of El Diablo and Killer Croc, though I think it's a bit unfair for the latter as they didn't really give him much to work with apart from the odd snarl and the odd one-liner. I thought Cara Delevingne did a decent job as Enchantress, especially considering I've recently found out that she hasn't actually had any formal acting training. Yes, make of that what you will. I thought Jared Leto did an average performance as the Joker. I wasn't terribly fond of this kind of hip-hop gangster vibe he had, and let's be fair, he had a really tough act to follow. That doesn't free him from criticism, however. I was particularly disappointed that that scene where the Joker said he wasn't going to kill them, but they were going to hurt them real bad, turned out to just be Harley Quinn during his escape attempt. Personally, I was hoping that it would have been a flashback scene about the death of Robin. It was mentioned in the character bio during the film that Harley Quinn was in fact an accomplice to Robin's murder, so there's some hope, I guess. Apparently a lot of the Joker scenes were cut, so I'm looking forward to seeing them in the DVD release. Katana was utterly useless in the movie. Every time she was about to use her sword, Rick Flagg kept holding his hand up and going, no, not yet. Something, something, manterrupting, I don't know. There were two brilliant cameos in the film. One was from Ezra Miller's Flash, and the other was Batfleck. I was particularly pleased with Batman's cameo, because this has been a first ever since the character appeared in a film. Not once did I ever think that Batman would actually be reduced to a cameo in another superhero film. The movie was hastily edited in such a way that it significantly affected the pacing, and truth be told, I kind of got lost a couple of times. Mind you, Batman vs Superman was kind of hastily edited as well. One minor gripe I had was at the beginning, when Amanda Waller was pleading her case to sanction the squad. She mentioned that everybody fondly remembered Superman, and she often brought up his moral code when comparing him to the squad. It was a noble gesture, but kind of redundant considering that Batman vs Superman consisted entirely of the public of the DC Cinematic Universe shitting all over him. Not to mention that Superman didn't even show anything even remotely resembling this moral code throughout the film. Oh, I really need a longer fanboy filter. I also think that this big supernatural and magic based sustained threat from Enchantress was kind of wasted on a bunch of criminals like the squad. I think this would have been a better fit for a team like Shadow Pact or Justice League Dark, basically a team that specialises in such sorcery. I also think that the big showdown they had at the end of the movie kind of defeats the whole point of them being a black ops team. I mean alright I get that it's their first mission but come on. Overall, not a terribly memorable or decent film, but it's not as bad as everybody says it is though it's definitely the weakest instalment of the DC Cinematic Universe so far. I give it 2 out of 5 Hammer Action Harley Quinns. So, what did you guys think of the movie? Leave me your thoughts in the comments. Any of you who follow me on Twitter, please contact me on there because I'm trying to be a bit more active on that platform. Also, feel free to tag the show in any tweet as well. Thank you very much, I'll see you soon.